is just before the daybreak. David declared that weeping may endure for a night, but joy. Do me a favor, get out your seat, prophesy, don't touch nobody, but prophesy to five people and say, Joe is coming. Two more people to slap. I prophesy joy. Your night season is over. Y'all ain't responding right. Whoa! I feel the power of God. Your night season is over. Step in. One thing I can say about this is they can't say nothing about my daybreak. Cause they wasn't there in my midnight. Tell your neighbor you can't say nothing about my daybreak. Cause you wasn't there in my midnight. When my back was against the wall. When my back was against the wall. Lord, I thank you for bringing me out. Lord, I thank you for bringing me out. Lord, I You know God brought you out. I just need you to start leaping right here. He brought me out there. You're watching, I know. But Carolyn and Tiffany were a part of my apostolic administration. What does that mean? I, I pastor other pastors. And they, I had sent them out of town to prepare for the affirmation. They were doing kingdom work. And out of nowhere, major car accident. The people said that the engine of the car was about 30 feet to 50 feet from the car. Tiffany and Carolyn had to go through procedures. Lord, I can, I can dance now. When the word got back to me, I got out the bed. I got out the bed, went straight to the emergency room. But Carolyn, get in the aisle, Carolyn. She's walking on her own. I said she's walking my God. Tiffany life was spared. Carolyn life was spared. And you want me to come up in here and act like I can't play with you?
you feel, baby? You feel good? You on 10? All right, let's keep it a buck. Tell, don't touch nobody, but tell somebody the same way that God surprised Sandra. Y'all sit by the wrong person. Go find somebody with the Holy Ghost. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Say the same way that God surprised Sandra. In about three days, God's about to surprise you. Ha! That's a house you've been looking at. That's a house you've been looking at. That's a business that you've been running after. And I promise I am not my my own. We can't take that. Tell your neighbor, God's about to surprise you. Tell them God's about to surprise you. Matter of fact, it's going to be more surprise for your enemy. Surprise your enemy. I want to know this joke. How would you act if the surprise manifested by the close of business tomorrow? How would you? How would you act? Is there anyone in here that is fireproof? 
Is anyone here that has survived something?